Hey guys, Arbark85 here, and we're here with the 19th Legion Hobby Update. We are going to uh, cover some stuff that's going on, but let me tell you, first of all, that man, I have been crazy busy getting ready for Wargames Con that's coming up in about a week. And so what I've had to do, if you've been keeping up with my videos, is that I've had to assemble a lot of the new Tau models um, and get them painted because, obviously, uh, I didn't want to use my broadsides, my old broadsides and such, which were all rigged out with rail guns. I wanted to use the missile sides. I needed to buy the riptides, and that took a little bit. But now I've got all the models assembled and base coated. So we're going to look at them here in just a few. I'm going to go over what I'm playing in my list. You know, I think it's a good list. It's not the best list. It's not a perfect list. But I think, I think that I'm going to have more fun playing this setup than I would some of the other uh, goofy things that I came up with. So first of all, let's take a quick moment to see where we're at with the 19th Legion. Uh, you should know that this time last year I was feeling pretty good about the Legion and um, we had a lot of things going on with our club which is South Mississippi Gamers. And uh, what the what the uh, Everything going on, it just became too much. So I kind of burned out. At the end of 5th, we've been playing tons of competitive play. We have been, um, you know, the club, I was the president of the club. Uh, it was a lot of craziness going on. So it just became a little bit much. And so when I went through this big round of burnout, my video production, my blog posting, and everything kind of went by the wayside. But I was lucky enough in that... I was able to meet up with some people who shared the interest in the hobby and we were able to revise the club and get it rolling on a new fresh start. Uh, we held elections and um, I ended up becoming the vice president as opposed to the president. The guy that's the president of course is Hinkle. If you've watched my videos you know who I'm talking about. And uh, where all this is going is this. What you were going to see in the future from the 19th Legion is that I believe I've pretty much shaken off my burnout and I'm getting ready to get back into video production uh, and model building and that is what I enjoy most about the hobby even though I love playing the game uh, of Warhammer 40k I really enjoy building the models and painting them and doing that kind of stuff I, I paint okay uh, I've been painting models since I was a kid I'm not an expert by any stretch uh, so what you're going to see is, you know, uh, from me in the future, I'm going to be splitting duty with uh, South Mississippi Gamers. You're going to see on uh, my page, mainly my hobby stuff. You know, uh, my armies, what I'm doing. You know, if you like the Build the Thunderhawk, if you like the Forge World uh, stuff, putting it together, that's great because I have a ton of it that we have to put together. I've got... Uh, a Tau Orca, I've got a Tau's, um, I've got all the Tau stuff except for the Manta. And um, man, if I get a crazy hair one day, I might buy one of those too. But um, I've got the Thunderhawk, I've got a lot of things I've got to put together and paint. So we'll do that together. I hope you continue to subscribe and check out my videos. As far as tournament coverage and interviews and things of that nature, Probably what I'm going to do, I'll still do some of that stuff, but I'm going to share that responsibility with the South Mississippi Gamers. And I have included a link below for the South Mississippi Gamer YouTube page and for their blog spot. So for updates for Warhammer 40k, uh, War Machine, uh, Magic the Gathering, you know, X-Wing... Uh, we're kind of like, uh, we've got a lot of different people interested in a lot of different stuff. You know, you could go there and check that stuff out. You'll start seeing the SMG brand come up on, on blog rolls and stuff like that around the community. You know, by all means, go to that channel and subscribe. We're going to do stuff like when we play games, we're going to live cast those games from my house. With our setup, we may live cast from... Our tournaments if we can get the internet connection working right but you're gonna be real happy with what you see on both channels because for my channel on the 19th Legion you're gonna see hobby related content videos of building models 
uh, I like to think one of my um, one of the people I like to watch is Templar's Crusade, and I like the way his format. I like Marty's Calgar, uh, his format, and that's basically what I'm gonna model myself after. You're gonna see much the same. On SMG, we're getting ready to go to War Games Con, and we will be there next week. Myself, my son, Lone Wolf, Hinkle, Miss Hinkle, and um, uh, Heretic Steve will be there. And Heretic Steve and I are playing in the 40K event. Hinkle, Miss Hinkle, and my son are playing in the War Machine event. So we're going to cover all that stuff. But where we're going to put that up is we're going to put that up on the SMG channel. So you're going to see interviews, you know, probably uh, Jay Wolf, you know, some of the usual, Goat Boy, um, anybody we can grab hold of, plus, you know, the people from um, uh, Privateer Press and uh, the vendors, you know, Rob Bear, we always interview those guys. But you won't be seeing that stuff on the 19th Legion. You're going to be checking it out on uh, SMG's channel, South Mississippi Gamers. I think that's a good deal. I think it's a good fix. I think that's a way of keeping me interested in the hobby and not burning out. And I think that way you, as a subscriber to my channel, will get the more bang for your buck. Sure, there may be some battle... I'm going to post battle reports on this. I'm going to repost battle reports on my uh, blog page. So... I think I beat that dog to death now. So let's go on and take a look at my list and what I'm taking to War Games Con and what I still have to do to get the army ready. All right, guys, let's take a look at what I got in my list. This is the uh, my commander. He's going to be armed with a uh, couple missile pods or I'm going to go with the cyclic ion um uh, cannon or shooter whatever it's called for the crisis suit the um idea with him he's going to be a support and he's going to have interceptor and skyfire so he can shoot on the enemy's turn and not shoot on his turn so that he can buff the broadsides with his pure tide chip he's also going to have the um neural wedge janner and that's going to make him uh enemies who shoot within 12 inches their weapons uh have get hot so he's also rocking the Iridium Crisis Suit uh, armor, which gives him a 2 plus save. And he doesn't have an invulnerable save, but he and these other guys will be on top of the Sky Shield landing pad. And uh, therefore, they'll get the 4 up invulnerable. Plus, once he's joined to the broadside suits, I can always look out, sir, to the drones, because they'll be part of his unit. So my other commander is going to be the Ethereal, because I'm really digging the Ethereal powers. Um and i like him because what he does is he turns around and makes your uh troops they use his leadership within 12 and he has the ability to give them uh where they can shoot three times instead of two during rapid fire he can have them uh have stubborn and he can also give them feel no pain which is great in the early turn games where they're laying it to you so uh, these guys will be on top of the sky shield pad with my broadsides. And um, the broadsides are set up in the missile configuration. They're going to have the smart missile system, which is twin length, their heavy missile system, and the two missile drones. Now, if you notice all this stuff is unpainted, that's because I've got a busy week ahead of me. My elite choices are going to be two of the riptides. One's going to have the heavy burst cannon with a fusion blaster, and the other one's going to have the ion cannon with the uh, fusion blaster and their job is to keep the flyers off of me and to blow up stuff uh, and be a big bullet sponge so that's their job they will do it well because it's for the greater good <laughs> i also have my sky shield pad which now i mean don't think i'm going to stop painting it at this level but it's three colors and i'm kind of in crunch time for the uh, tournament so that's what i'm going to need my fast attack is going to be two Pathfinder squads, of which I have to paint some of those puppies and rebase them. And then for my troops, I've got two Fire Warrior squads and four Kroot squads. And the Kroot have hounds with them. Uh, two of the squads have sniper rifles, two do not. And that's because the outflankers will not have time to stop for a turn and shoot the sniper rifles. They have to get to objectives. For my other heavy choice, I have the ion heads, 
two of them. They shoot Strength 7, uh, I believe it's AP3 or AP2 uh, um, ion cannon. Um, let's see. Plus, it's got the smart missiles. And um, smart missiles are rocking. So that's what I'm playing. As you can see, I've got some more painting to do. And, um, you know, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be good to go. So the ion cannon has a strength eight, or I'm sorry, strength seven AP three, but you can overcharge it to a strength eight AP three, which is pretty killer. I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, all in all, this is my army. Most of it's already painted. The rest of it I will have painted before War Games Con, and uh, you'll see it there on the table. Hopefully, I'll have all the bases done. It'll look sexy, and um, you know. Uh, we could stop and talk about it. I, I like my paint job. It's clean. It's not field worn. That's not what I was going for with these guys. I was going more for urban towel, uh, clean, um, utilitarian type, uh, you know, non camouflage. So there you have it. All right, guys. But that's so going to be my list for uh, time. You know, we took the we took a look at the vision for the future of 19th Legion and for South Mississippi gamers. And, you know, I know I went a little long-winded, about six minutes on that, but I think that it's important to say that so that you, as the viewer, know what to expect. Then, we looked at my army for War Games Con, though a brief look. Over the next week, as I finish these units, I will showcase them. And uh, right before we leave, I'll do one last video showing you off the whole army. If I get a chance, I'm going to refurb my stand here so I can push it around. Maybe put me a slot underneath for a cooler and uh, be able to share beverages with people, which would be great while we're playing. Seven games in two days is a lot of games. But I am hopeful for War Games Con. I am, you know, it's always fun going there. It's a great tournament if you haven't been. This year, they say it's bigger and better. It's gonna have a vendor room. Hopefully they'll have some sexy swag bags and uh, there'll be lots of stuff for us to do and see. So, check back. The 19th Legion, We'll have lots of stuff up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Also, you can leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. And hit the Facebook page for 19th Legion. And then, if you get a chance, you know, jump the link on over to the blog for a lot of still pictures. But if you've got Facebook and you've got YouTube, you've pretty much got all of it. So, um, also, don't forget to subscribe to, the, um, to South Mississippi Gamers or the SMG website. You're going to get a lot of the coverage that you used to get here. There, I'll still be involved. It's still going to be great. We're going to have lots of fun. So, there you have it, guys. Signing off from the 19th Legion.